Hey everyone, it's Beth Miller with FCI Magazine and I am joined today with Elvis Torres. He is the, let me get your title right, long one, Concrete and Substrate Preparation Product product Manager for Latacrete. Thanks for being here, Elvis. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, so Latacrete actually submitted to the overlays and toppings category and took on the win. So we're going to dive <laughs> into this project. It is a fantastic project, and I had actually already seen it prior to submission, so I was super excited to see it come in. Yeah. Um, so let's dig in. Tell me about this project. Yeah, no, it was it was a phenomenal project, and it, it was pretty much what launched one of our new overlays that we had, the MXC level SP in white. So SP meaning salt and pepper. So once you polish it, you get that nice low exposed aggregate. People say it kind of looks like terrazzo, polished concrete. You know, aggregate's a little bit smaller, but still gives you a nice low exposed aggregate. So I was looking for a project, and then, uh, you know, Lady Creek is close, uh, very close with the Monari family, you know, and they had this beautiful new project that we're working on. They have a beautiful car collection, and they wanted to start up a kind of club for automotive. So, mm -hmm. you know, the location was going to be phenomenal, um, and it was going to have a bar, a lounge, you know, could do events there, and then people can keep their pride and joys in a beautiful location. I And then, really... Um, they were looking for a museum feel. So I said, you know what, this might be a great opportunity to kind of come in here with this product and kind of dive on the deep end of, of things, you know. So mm -hmm. we partnered up with our, our certified applicator here up in the Northeast, which is uh, Jason and Robert Services. They're phenomenal work, super creative. I mean, when you're doing overlays and any type of just decorative, right, you just have to come prepared and ready because there's high expectations uh, of these type of products, whether you're doing a polished overlay, polished concrete, epoxy coating, it's what people see and, and obviously they're going to critique it. So we were really happy to join forces with them. I We have presented uh, Ronnie, uh, who is the architect and also the owner, uh, some samples and she just loved it. She said, oh my God, this is what I'm looking for. This kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, an Italian museum, that marble. This is just like the look I'm coming for. So we pretty much started uh, basing off the design off of that. Um, in the main showroom area, the bar, the lounge, showroom, and the office, there's a one office uh, room there. And then in the, in the back of the building where they actually do the mechanic work, the detailing, all that stuff, we did. We went with a sparter coat system, one of our epoxy sparter coats with sand, so you wouldn't slip or anything like that if there was oil or soap on the floor. So that was pretty much what the design was, like, you know, beautiful in the front, and then once you close those curtains, all business in the back, and then that was all our sparter coat system. So. Now, what challenges did you guys run into? Well, you know, that floor was really messed up. Um, that it was a piano gallery beforehand and they had serviced that community for a very, very long time. Um, the building had gone through many different renovations, obviously, throughout that time. So, you know, once the floor was removed, concrete was pretty, pretty just uh pretty messed up. We it took everything from our, our NXT patch to we skimmed and pretty much leveled the entire floor with our high performing self-leveler, which are NXT level plus. So, you know, obviously overlays, you know, you don't want to fill the entire floor, even though it could do it. It's like, well, why? It's kind of like a way. So let's pre-fill the floor, make sure the floor is nice and flat with our uh, our best performing uh, underlayment, which is NXT level plus. It's fiber reinforced. It just takes flex. It's very flexible. You know, it's, it's just made for the most aggressive situation. Then we motion mitigated and then we we applied our NXT level SP in white. So it really took everything from repair mortars, uh, drenching. They had to cut out cracks, control joints. You name it, this floor had probably experienced some type of concrete repair out there. So, so I'm going to say this to the audience. Elvis and I have have realized that we're both car people. So, <laughs> yes. um, so this particular project is really exciting for us. If you ever go to car shows or you ever go to any facilities where cars are on display, the flooring and the lighting are just the two biggest elements ever, in my opinion. And to actually see a project where you guys took the risk of installing a white floor, yeah. man, what a risk, but it paid off. So, yeah. no, I mean, it was definitely, uh, you know, automotive, right? You, you have so many other different things that are subjected to the floor. You have tires, you have oil, you have all these different right. things. It's, a, it's an event space as well. So you have cocktails, you have, you know, mustard, all the, uh, you know, acid products that could be potentially falling like on the Ladies floor. in high heels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's getting, it's getting exposed to a lot and they do a ton of events there. I mean, it's, uh, if uh, anyone wants to check it out on Instagram, it's Alo Estrada Westport. Um, they do a lot of awesome events there. 
So, you know, we came with a, we knew that uh, when we were developing NXT level SP white, we we knew that white was going to be the hardest color to maintain. So we wanted to make sure we came right. with the right regiment of uh, sealing products. So mm -hmm. you you can either go with our LNM. We have, uh, I'm also in charge of uh, our LNM construction chemical line. So it's construction chemicals, you know, uh, releasing agents, admixtures, so on and so forth. And then we also have our town stone side, which is our stone tank. So in this in this choice, we decided to go with our Stone Tech Bulletproof as the sealer. It has been tried and true in garage spaces before, um, and it it did a phenomenal job. I mean, it's holding up to this day. Um, the biggest heart attack I think I had on the project, which was um, Joel, he just had the asphalt paved uh, paved outside. So I said, okay, mm -hmm. fresh asphalt, oil. I said, hey, you know, Joel. Um, maybe give it a couple days, let that, you know, seal down. And then we'll, we'll park the cars in here and everything like that. He's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. No, 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 you got it. And sure enough, like I turn around and then he's driving in the, his Ferrari F40 and cause he's just so excited. He wants to see the car on the thing. And sure enough, it tracks, you know, attract the oil through the tires on the, on the white floor. So I'm like having a heart attack, but I mean, again, knowing that how, how robust the, our, our sealers are, you know, I just walked up with a, with a rag and some of our town stone yep. cleaner and it came right off. But, you know, obviously it's like, well, here's the true test, right? I mean, really, you know, it doesn't get any harder than that than literally driving over one, not even one day old asphalt into a white floor. So, um, mm. no, it was, it was great. It was a great test to, to the system's capability and also the product itself. And really, you know, now what we see there and like, like you said, we're car people and I, I make any type of excuse I can to go down to see that showroom and, and, and that product and so on and so forth. Now, what can you pinpoint one aspect of the project that is your absolute favorite oh, as in, in in the um application or just it can just be project? anything at all anything Man, you know i honestly the project itself um the transition between the lounge the bar lounge to the floor okay. to the where the cars are like positioned it's just really beautiful you know, again, um, Ronnie killed. Uh, she did a phenomenal job with with the architecture and, and how she laid everything out. And there's six, uh, five thousand pound glass doors that separate the lounge to the to the uh, to the to the uh, bar. So you can close those doors or open them up, and and sure enough, you know, you can get just explore all the beauty that you have there. It's it's really pieces of art. I mean, you know, these are you know very low production cars. These are a lot of these cars were hand built. So it is work of art, and um, I think that's the best thing, kind of sitting down in the bar lounge, turning around and just seeing all that beautiful art behind you and, and just in, in marvel of just technology, you know. So for all the other car lovers out there, what types of cars are in that space right now? Oh, man. Uh, just to name a couple, you have uh, Carrera GT, Ferrari F40, Ferrari F50, uh, Lancia Delta, um, uh, Mercedes CLK GTR, one of 20 in the world. Um, that's in there. You know, what else? Oh, uh, Ferrari uh, F, uh, 355, uh, Porsches. And again, you have you have other people, uh, very close friends of theirs who keep vehicles there. So just a beautiful array of collection, Ali R8s, stuff like that. Just to name a, a couple, you know, just a couple. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, awesome. Thank you, Elvis. This was a lot of fun. And I'm congratulations on the win. This is a, a super cool, very unique project for sure. Yeah, no, I, I really we appreciate uh, us, you know, being able to enter and winning it was just out of the, out, you know, out of the world, you know, when we're developing yeah. these products, they start becoming like kids to you. And then like, you know, so it's like my kid coming back with like a trophy and, you know, great partners again, you know, Jason and Roberts, I mean, your product is good, but the people who apply need to be just as good. So Sure. A lot of kudos to them and also just working with a great partner, which was, uh, you know, um, Joe and Ronnie Molinari. I mean, their vision coming to light and allowing us to, you know, apply this product. So overall, it was a great group effort and team effort. And I'm, I just couldn't be happier with the project. And um, and from that, we stumbled upon some other ones. So maybe we'll be submitting some more coming down the road. So, yeah, I was going to say, definitely be thinking about next year. I hope each year we just get more and more projects. and. I just want to see these cool products. These are amazing and they're fun. It's just fun, oh, yeah. you know, to see what people are doing with their spaces. So, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, the overlay category is becoming bigger and bigger. Um, you know, Terrazzo, obviously, 
it's now an addition to terrazzo in the in, in the industry as a finished flooring so um you can customize it i mean you can we do custom pigments with our overlays so any color in the world you just give us a pantone color and we can have the overlay match to that so i mean it's really endless when it comes to capability adding glass or stone or whatever it may be so um i think this space is ever growing and i'm, I'm kind of glad we're on the cusp of uh all that so yes absolutely all right. Well, thank you, Elvis. Thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you. Have a great day.